I've got some cool stuff to show you today. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Pipes and Guitars, where I like to talk about my two loves, pipes and guitars. So today, got a cool story to share with you. Uh, recently, My Brick and Mortar, the Country Squire here in Jackson, Mississippi, celebrated their 50th anniversary, and they invited Rocky Patel and Eric Nording to come and uh, sell pipes and talk to the customers, and it was just the coolest experience ever. I got to meet Eric Nording. Uh, that was a really cool experience. Super nice guy. Um... So if you have the chance to meet him, you know, absolutely meet him. I bought this pipe straight from Eric Nording's hands to mine. This is a Nording Group 11 pipe. I believe this is a blowfish, maybe an egg. I'm not sure, but it has bamboo here. And I've looked online. I cannot find another pipe like this one. But it is gorgeous. It has quickly become my favorite pipe. Look at the little stem. I really like that. Nice deep bowl and the waves on the side. That's a very, you know, Viking Nordic kind of thing to put on there, you know. Not only did I get to meet Eric Nording, he autographed my pipe sock. There you go. I think he spelled my name wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> English was the second language. What do you want? And that's fine. I also bought another pipe. Uh, this is... I'm not sure exactly. It's a freehand, I know for sure. But I really like it. Um, you know, it's 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 turning a nice shade, wood shade right there from me smoking it. It's a really nice pipe. But if you bought two pipes, you got this. The Eric Nording Bobblehead Pipe Holder. My wife says it's creepy, but I love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I had a great time. One of the cool things, when I first started talking to him, I was actually smoking this. My little Nording compass. And uh, he noticed that I was smoking the compass. And he said, how do you like that pipe? And I told him that I really liked it. And he said it, that it, this was his favorite pipe. That this is what he used in his shop. That's what he said to me. I've actually read that. That this was his favorite pipe that he, that he used in the shop. But he said that to me. Just got this lightweight. So, the favorite pipe of Eric Nording, he really liked that. When I asked him the difference between the Group 11, Group 12, Group 15, he had several things, and the more, the higher the number, the more expensive they were. And he said, this is better wood, better quality of wood, um, you know, different design. He said, but all of them were great smokers. And then he pointed to this pipe, he said, now that, this one right here is a great smoker. So, he said... Pretty much, you know, if you spend $500 or $40 on a Nording pipe, you're going to get a great smoke. It's pretty good. Today I am smoking Cornell and Deal's Espresso, and I think I'm going to make a, uh, a confession really quick. I bought eight ounces of this stuff, and it was in this jar. This has become one of my favorite tobaccos, uh, espresso. This is what I have left in this little bitty jar. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to order some more. I've already been through eight ounces plus the two. I might have an ounce and a half there. Also had somebody comment that they, uh, they didn't buy espresso, be espresso because of uh, the lousy review it got on tobaccoreviews.com. And they said that, they said they were going to be careful when using that as a litmus test. You know, when you're buying tobacco, sometimes you just got to go with your gut and try it. I'm so glad I went with my gut and got espresso. It has become my favorite blend. Smoking in the morning. Smoking at night. Smoking in the afternoon. Just really good. And it's really good out of my group 11. Uh... I posted a picture of me and this pipe on the Gentleman's Pipe Smoking Society page on Facebook, and I got, you know, a lot of comments on how pretty a pipe this was, and it is. And I've gone and tried to find another one like it on smokingpipes.com, tobaccopipes.com, uh, pipes and cigars. I can't find one like this anywhere. So if you see one, snatch it up. 
Also, a quick plug for my uh, orchestral YouTube page, Two Maples Music, if you're interested in that style of music. I've got new music uploading to that all the time, especially since I'm home on spring break and the coronavirus is kind of keeping me at home. <laughs> I have time to compose. So go check out that page, Two Maples Music here on YouTube, but also Two Maples Music on SoundCloud.com. Hope everybody's staying safe. Make sure you smoke your pipe. Now is the time to do it. Enjoy it as much as you can. Just kind of relax, okay? Relax, stay calm, and stay safe. And remember, love life, smoke a pipe, and keep on picking. I'll see you next time. All right, you made it all the way to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like what you've seen here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We're growing a little bit every day. There's a couple of videos over there. Check them out. Maybe you'll like them. Or you can stay here and smoke with me. Yes. <laughs>